All right, Camden, so I'm going to do this. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but I am going to show you how to do just a few things. Um, you might already know how to do it, and seriously, if you watch this video and you're like, girl, I already know how to do all this, tell me what you need me to help you with, and I'll do my best. Um, but I'm going to start out with the untitled artwork to the left, and I made that by just going to the plus sign and picking screen size and so I'm gonna go into that I like to pinch the screen oops sorry time hop got in the way um I like to pinch the screen so that I can see my full workspace just it allows me to like get the edges better or whatever I don't know um but obviously here are all of the colors you can pick from the classic menu the value like you can put the um hexadecimal number right here and um you know make your own color i wonder if this is the color no it's not okay cool <laughs> it gave up on me anyway okay and you can go to the previous color if you look up here you can go to the eyedropper so like anywhere on the page say that there was a, hang on, yeah, just making sure I had another, let me get another color for you, like, and I have a weird marker right now, so that's weird, but if you want to use the eyedropper to find color, well, that was the brushes, sorry, um, you just go to eyedropper, and you, you know, drag it to wherever you want the color to be, so, or whatever you want the color to be, um, Next, here are layers that you can add. New layer, new layer, new layer. And then you can say that I've drawn on all four layers. Hang on, let me draw on all four layers really quick. Oh, let's, let's change the color. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of blue. Oh, wait, I didn't change layers. Whoops, dang it. Okay, you get the point. You can squeeze them together and they're all one layer now. And um, if you want to change your background color, you click background, do what you do. You can go to palettes. There's lots of, well, well there's lots of palettes on the, um, <laughs> on the iPad version, but not on the iPhone. But that's how you change your background color. Another thing, another fun thing to do is to just kind of go through, oops, that's the smudge tool. Just go through all of your brushes and, um, you know, there's a ton of them here. So, you, I'm sure you can... Ooh, look at the brick. The, no, excuse me, stone wall. Oh, yeah, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, yes. Yes, girl, yes. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so go through your brushes. That's fun. You can do, like... Hang on. On touch-ups, there's hair and skin and zombie skin. Let's see what some green zombie skin looks like. This video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get some zombie skin going. Oh, I got to press hard. You can't really see it over the other layer, but you know what, girl? That's all right. It doesn't look like zombie skin at all, but when it's on a white background, it does. <laughs> um, so to clear layers, you swipe and hit clear and then you're done and then up here at the left hand corner where it says modify this girl is about to be your best friend so the, if you hit the little wrench you can insert pick a file photos take a photo cut copy copy canvas you can do everything um on the image side then the canvas this is just settings sharing this is when you want to save it you can save it as a procreate image that will open up in other procreate applications a psd which is for photoshop a pdf which i'm pretty sure you know what pdf and jpeg are um if you want to save something with no background use png um i don't know what tiff is sorry i have never used it <laughs> So, um, but, you know, just saving it as a JPEG is fine, too. This, if you come back down to the bottom and you go to video, girl, this is Instagram glory, okay? You will be able to um, export a time lapse of your drawing. And if you go on my design Instagram, there's a, 
um, a picture that I drew in Procreate, and I posted the video of the girl that I drew, um, and it's just really cool to watch. So, definitely do that because I just want to see your process because you're amazing. Um, and then you have preferences down here. Honestly, I've never messed with any of this. If you want to play with it, you can. But I would look up some videos on YouTube because, honestly, girl, I have no idea. Um, I just leave them as the regular settings. Help. Eh, never looked at this either. But, you know, you'll get the picture. Um, I do want to show you where to get some png files that you can insert into your um your area oh here's some zombie skin yes girl um into your area oh, there we go i just needed to make it bigger um that you can put in your area your workspace or whatever and work with it as i did in this picture because this picture i drew the background as you can see right here and right here and then here's the snow and then i inserted this little guy and I can move him all around if I want to this is another thing um, you press this if you go to modify and then go to this little arrow you can pick stuff up and move it around um, or pick layers up rather like I could go to the tree and then click this and I can move the tree and then let's see this it's just adjustments. So the opacity of the layer and you just slide it. Opacity none, opacity some, opacity none, opacity some. There's a tree. There's not a tree. No, there's not. There's a tree. There's not a tree. There's a tree. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, so there's the settings for that. Um, let's see. Just, just play with some of these. Let's get some noise going on here. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. Um, let's see here. What else can I tell you about? This is for, like, adjusting. Um, well, I don't know what it's for adjusting, actually. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. It just... Maybe that's the whole... I don't remember what that is in... Um, oh, it's selection tool. Duh, girl. Okay. So, S for selection. And then if you don't want to select what you circled, um, just hit that button again and it'll go away. But... Oh, I wanted to show you Kiss PNG. So, definitely ask your mom about this uh, just to be sure. But... Um, but these are all PNGs that you can, that people have cut out and they're not, um, don't like sell these <laughs> cause they're not royalty free, but they're fun to play with. And oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Come on reindeer, antler fauna, wildlife illustration. She's so cute. So then you come down, don't hit any of these free Dwan load. <laughs> They're trying to trick people or any of the ads. Just go down to download PNG and it'll like pop up in another thing and then ask you if you're a robot. I'm not a robot. And then you got to pick all the storefronts. So bam, bam, bam. Oh wait, bam. <laughs> all right. Verify. Verify. All right. Now it's going to pull the image up and then you hard press it oops oh, hang on hard press and swipe up hit save image then go back to procreate and i'm going to go back to the other workspace with the zombie sh cheeks pinch it again modify wrench insert a photo and you can put it in there girl And that's basically all. If you want to, um, if you have any more questions, seriously, Camden, just ask. I don't, that's basically what I know how to do. The, the brushes, um, I like to, I mean, I don't know. I think this is just more so like you got to kind of explore it on your own, girl. But yeah, just let me know if y'all, if you need any help or if Addie has any questions, I'm more than happy to help y'all. Love you so much.